All right, now let's get into the other big story. I think the other one is actually a bigger story. The people that live around the Hollywood sign don't want tourists jumping over their fence, throwing McDonald's cups and wrappers in their yard, trying to get over to the Hollywood sign. They want their streets washed off of most maps uh, and or redirect traffic in that area. Right. Uh, and I think they got a good point. The, the concern is now with GPS technology, right. GPS has managed to map all those little tiny roads and narrow access areas that never existed in printed maps I before. See. Right. And now with that and Google Maps and all the other online maps, they said in the last few years, the, the amount of tourists up there has doubled, tripled in some cases. They're trying to get up in those little tiny roads. They want to get to as close to the sign as possible. Was there a press conference up there? No. Oh, right. No, this was a, a what we call an enterprise story. Oh, I see. Yeah. How did you find your way up there with the uh, Thomas Guide? <laughs> I used my GPS to get to the address of the lady I spoke with up there. That's the head of the uh, Hollywood Land Homeowners Association. Okay, but they have a point. I mean, if you have a house up there that's probably worth a million, maybe $2 million, and then you get people up there who park their car, they climb over your fence to go see the Hollywood sign. Right. Eventually, you're like, you know what? I don't want, I don't want to do this anymore. Well, here's, Plus, a lot of people hang themselves off that sign. Well, here's a, here's a lot of concerns. They uh, Or jump. There's they, a been right. a, at least yeah. one suicide. Yeah. They've got That's a fire zone up there. For one, you oh got, yeah, right. Yeah, remember, there's fires up there, and they've got they have to keep those narrow roads open. When I was driving up there in our SUV, I I could barely make it up there, right. and it's it's not a two way street. And it's, it's a great way to say to cops that you're going up there to see the Hollywood sign when you're really casing the joint. Sure. Yeah. All right. So, do you have any audio from this woman? No. Okay. All right, because we had a uh, sound effect we wanted to play for you. <laughs> I bet you did. I bet I know what it is. <laughs> but so, so Tom LeBon, city councilman for the district, has reached out to Garmin, TomTom, Tom, Google Maps, and all these other companies, and he's asked them how they can work together for them to literally erase all they're, of those little streets. But they're not going to do that. Well, you know, he's asking. He's trying to figure it out. The option is, when I'm talking to the residents and when I'm talking to LeBonge, one of the things that they agree on is trying to come up with one or two official viewing spots. Oh, I see. Parking okay. and right. like do a park or something. That's a good idea. To get it away from the residential area. Right. But it, it, you can't take it off of the GPS because what about if the cops or the fire department needed the GPS to get up there to a fire or to a, an incident? God, that, people are dumb. It's a sign. It isn't a snake <laughs> eating a pig. I would stop and watch a snake eat a pig. I don't need to see a giant sign. I can see it from the bottom of Beachwood in Hollywood. There it is. You can see it from God the damn, people are dumb. How stupid do you effing have to be to get that close to kiss it? What, is, what a mentality. What a mentality! <laughs> Who are these losers with their McDonald's wrappers? Go to hell! I, I've been in LA for forty-seven years. Not only have I not been up there, I don't. I've never even talked about going up there. No, I've never. I, that's the first time I'd even been close to the sign. Is that right? And it's funny. I think I stack. I think you're right. I never thought about it. But who are these? Huge losers it who have to go up there. Totally. I, I can see that sign from LAX. Right, of course you can. Yeah, you've seen uh, it a billion times. Yeah, and, it's and, the same sign. I know it's the same sign. I don't want to climb over the weeds, get bit by a rattlesnake just to, exactly. just, just so I say I can but touch. You guys are locals, or start a fire. Yeah, you know these are locals. These tourists they come here for that kind of stuff. They come here for those landmarks. They come here. I mean, when I was driving up Beachwood Canyon, which is a really big part of that, that's a big part of the problem. I mean, in the amount of time I was driving up there, there were just people parked everywhere, jumping out of their cars to take pictures real quick with the sign behind them. Ugh. I mean, they're just stopping. They're just literally. It's a stopping. really nice community up there. Uh, there's a there's the Beachwood Canyon Market. Right. Uh, there's a little dry cleaning place. There's a, a little tiny restaurant. Uh, it's a great it's a great part of Los Angeles to live if you can afford it. And I understand that these homeowners don't you know want. Uh, <laughs> People with low IQs jumping their fences. Uh, I, I guess there's a point. T Tom LeBonge is right. Get a viewing area if they want to get close to it and wrap it up. But I just don't understand. Well, it. And the problem there, too, is they don't want to dip into or they don't want to cut into tourist dollars. They don't want to start discouraging tourists from coming to the area. If they know that they're not going to be able to get close to the sign, they're concerned about that as well. So they've got they've got issues they're going to have to handle I'm here. I'm telling you, if they get a viewing spot, two or three viewing spots, you dollars to donuts the second day, not the first day, there'll be a grand opening. Here's the here's where you want to sit down and take a picture close up of the sign. The next day, you're going to have Batman 
and Charlie Chaplin and all those clowns from Grommens, number two. You know, the, the, the guys that didn't make it to Grauman's, they're going to be up there parading around at the base right. of the Hollywood sign. Yeah, you're absolutely right. All right, Steve Gregory, uh, thanks for coming on, man. And uh, hopefully we didn't uh, kill your uh, your uh, audio reputation. or your story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, oh, you have to wave your hands. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Steve Gregory, KFI News. All right. There he goes. All right. Uh, when we come back, Roseanne Barr has made a big announcement on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. We'll tell you what that announcement is. Plus, Steckler and I have a Roseanne story. We had a personal run-in, the both of us, with Roseanne Barr. And it ended with Doug Steckler yelling at Roseanne Barr. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll fill in all the details when we come back. But this may be the last time we tell the story because he is wildly uncomfortable. I'm totally, it. Tim, yeah, I, I've asked Tim not to do this, but. But I just one more time. Please, Tim. One, 